Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Rob with Collecting Dust Hobbies. Another update video for the storage units, the sports lockers that I acquired from Renee uh, from Storage Wars. Just grabbed some random stuff the other day and uh, I know we did a video the other day kind of just, you know, highlighting some of the stuff. But again, you'll come across, you know, this beauty, this dust beauty right here. You can just see, um, you know, this is why, you know, uh, collecting dust hobbies is what it is. Um, you know, you, you find stuff like this all the time. Wow, that's really dirty. But anyway, um, yeah, I just found some stuff here. I uh, haven't looked through it. I um, just kind of did this and saw that. I said, oh, this might be a good thing to kind of go through on video, kind of do a reveal and uh, see what we find. So let's get into it. Um, let's see here. So again, I just pulled some random stuff out of the uh, storage locker and just brought it home just to kind of do some videos. So, uh, and again, this stuff was in San Diego area, so there's a lot of Padre things and Dodger stuff and whatnot. So here we got a Steve Garvey night, Saturday, April 6, 1988. Looks like kind of a, uh, you know, some kind of program or something. It's kind of cool. You know, it's probably a stadium giveaway or something like that. So kind of cool. And again, I haven't looked at this. So I don't know what's in here. So we got this, whatever this is upside down here. And certified autograph Pete Rose commemorating hit number 4192. Looks like it has a uh, hit number. I don't know if there is a limited amount or not, but uh, it's got a swatch of cloth. A swatch of cloth from a Cincinnati Reds game, apparently. So, anyway, interesting. Uh, I got some Carl's Jr., some uh, Sacramento Kings. Basketball, Rick, Ricky Berry. So it looks like they're the same here. Yeah, they're all the same. It must have been some kind of giveaway. 88, 89. Um, let's see what this is. This looks like an order list or something. Sports Flicks, 86 Premier Edition. So, something interesting. Oh, oh that's kind of cool. This is kind of like a 82 League Leaders. Looks like an Opeachy. I don't know, peachy uh, or tops. Huh, interesting. I've never seen it. So, that's been you know, something that came with some promotional. These sticker books, I've come across these before, and they're kind of cool when they're all complete. This one obviously isn't complete. Um, so, but, it's, you know, this was kind of a really popular. I actually remember doing this one as a kid, too. But, uh, yeah, actually, not pretty, pretty close to complete. A few missing, but, uh, Always kind of a cool thing. We got the 89 one. That's the 88, 86. We got the 89 version. This one feels like it doesn't have anything in it. Let me see. Yeah, so this is just the just the album. And we've got this one. It's just George Brett. So you, no Royals or anything on here. So it's kind of interesting if that picture wasn't. Uh, Legit, not legit, but so this is 1980. So this is actually an old one. Um, oh, 1980 pitching leaders, so probably would have been 81 then. 81 stickers, I'm assuming. It looks complete too, so that's something, something kind of cool. You don't see this one, you, know, you see the 82s and the 88s and all that stuff, but the 80, yeah, I mean, because look at that. I mean, is that two? Yeah, it's two, two pieces, but they, they made it look pretty good there. So pretty cool sticker album, so. Sticking with that, we got the uh, Baseball 88 sticker album. And let's see here. Yeah, looks pretty empty. Don Manley on the front. Okay, so uh, interesting. So we get into this layer here. So this looks like uh, 75 tops or something like that. So these might be, um, not blank backs, but based on what else I'm seeing right here, they could be... Um, you know, box bottom cards or something they cut off from the uh, cut off from the the bottom of the boxes. Maybe I'm not sure. I don't know. Actually, these are just miscuts. So let's see. Is this one? Yeah. So it actually is a seventy-five tops mini. Uh, they're just miscut miscut cards. So I know there's people out there that like to get the miscut cards. So a lot of seventy-fives in there. Uh, yeah, seventy-five was a was a crazy year when it came to cuts. I had a, a friend of mine that put together a uh, PSA set in that and it was really really hard just because the not as bad as this cut wise but just 
you know cuts and centering is, 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 is a huge issue in that all right see here we got the uh, jumbo sunflower seeds I'm not sure if it's the set or not mm, well that's something different so I'm not sure what this is let's take a look Eric Davis jumbo um, so let's see here post this all Eric Davis looks like Eric Davis Larkin well, yes these look like this like there you go Bo Jackson minor league card Memphis chicks it's in decent shape too ah well, I got a little ding up here it's not gradable but still so this looks like uh, maybe just a bunch of cards from all these oddball you, know, you get the sunflower seed and you know classic kind of the at that time this is off of uh, macaroni and cheese right here and then these I believe are reprints yeah these aren't these aren't new these are reprint reprints uh, but yeah something different um, so I'm assuming this is probably similar uh, Tim Raines there we go um, it's the jumbo sunflower seeds again Chris Sabo yeah, so this is just like just kind of like sunflower seeds, kind of the off, off brand or off market stuff. It wasn't tops, Fleur Donners, basically. At this point, there's no uh, possibly upper deck as well, but yeah. So it came out of Tops magazine. Some stickers, some Tim Rain stuff. That's the Long John Silver Starline, I believe, or something like that. For the Rains. Okay, cool. All right. So so far, interesting box. Um, yeah, it looks like they have some water damage here, but this I believe these were the 61 Fleer. 61 Fleers. I'm not going to open it because I, I see that. And you can kind of see that right there. I might open that a little later, but yeah, you can see it's got definitely has water and mildew damage on there, unfortunately. So, which is the case a lot of times with the older cards, you find that. Um, so these are president cards. I think they're Mother's Cookies, yeah. So you got Washington, Carter. FDR, Eisenhower, Ford, Jimmy Carter. Let's see here. Playing cards. Major League All-Star playing cards. Actual playing cards. These are kind of cool. I think, uh, when was it? Years. There was a Griffey in there. It was the Ace of Diamonds. So it's probably, yeah, 91. So Griffey is the Ace of Diamonds. And uh, another Ace is Tom Glavin. So that was kind of an interesting set. Let's see here and get some more of the off offbeat stuff. The Jimmy Dean again, it you know, looks like a just a mixed mash of uh, things here. Let's see there, Jim Abbott, Post Tartable, Bobby Bonilla, little Hershiser Wonder Bread. Looks like a '76 uh, Padres giveaway set. Todd Zeal, yeah. So I mean, nothing crazy. But, you know, for a lot of the uh, player collectors out there, the oddball stuff, you know, adds to their collection if they don't have it. So, and then this one has a rubber band on it. I'll take that off. Yeah. Okay. Um, Fernando Valenzuela. So, this is uh, Burger King, second edition series, 2020. So, this is 87. 1987. So, I got Tony Pena, Ron Hayes, Pedro Guerrero. So just some interesting things. Um, this looks like an uncut sheet of 78 tops. Uh, hard to tell. Looks like it might be kind of... It looks like they might have folded it or something, but... You got Lenny Randall, Chet Lemon, Ed Ott, and Dave Goltz. Shortest name in baseball, right? Ed Ott. Interesting. There's a Coca-Cola card. Lance Parrish, Coca-Cola. So interesting box. This was some stuff thrown in here, and I'm kind of seeing like this back here. Let's see what happens when we get to that. This looks like some kind of like postcard or something. Yeah, Perez still galleries for all that stuff for that artist. There's another uncut sheet. See, unfortunately, it has you know some some damage or something there, but something you don't see every day. So the team sheets. So a little banged up. Is this so that uh, you know what that is? What are these here? These don't look that old, but leaf playball bubblegum. So five cents, 192 count. 
I'm not sure. I don't think these are original. They, they look like they're reprints of some sort. Um, so I'm not sure. But Okay, then we get to these. Yeah, these were, a lot of these were given in you know, the early 90s. Um, you go to games and stuff, and the upper deck was, was huge on these montage type things. They always had a... Um, they always had an Upper Deck Seal limited edition. I, I went to a old-timers game in, at the old Candlestick Ballpark in San Francisco, and, and they gave away stuff like this kind of for some of the uh, old-timers uh, old game. I think, I'm trying to remember who was all there, but um, I know Dave Kingman had just retired recently, and kind of he, it was kind of, <laughs> kind of funny. I had some of these older guys from the 60s, and then Dave Kingman came up there and promptly launched launched a ball into the seats no problem but it was just an interesting but yeah but they gave out you know these upper deck heroes of baseball a lot of this stuff was given out there's i've seen so many different varieties of, assuming they did it at all the stadiums things like that uh limited edition tony gwynn promo sheet ultra flare so these were just kind of the things that were given out at that time and the back is yeah more gwynn so like i said you know this locker was in san diego area so um you know, always been finding a lot of San Diego stuff. You know, speed along here. What is this? Um, okay, this is Upper Deck uh, Fanfare, Fan Fest um, program from, I believe, when the, what year was that? I always forget. Um, the all -Star, not, the, not the recent All Star game, but the All Star game, 92. 1992 is when the All Star game was in San Diego, I believe, back then. So. So there's that. Kind of a nice little program. Let's see what this is. A piece of paper. Okay, so Los Angeles Times doing a all-star game. Padres. Kind of cool. Um, tons of these. I've already found a lot of this stuff in the in the locker. Just you know the old um oh, what was that? Stuck on the back there is looks like kind of an uncut sheet um, in the 57 tops style. 1990s when it came out. The back's a little different though, but let's see. We got another one of those here. So yeah, so nothing crazy so far. Just some just oddball box of just oddball stuff. So and that's and this is actually the part of you know when I collection buy this, I, the funnest is just going through these oddball boxes and seeing what you find. You got the uh, Detroit Pistons official yearbook 91-92. because you never know what you can find. This you know it's boxes like these where I usually find. Something that's just kind of really cool that, that you know doesn't you know, necessarily uh, speak to everything else you found in the in the unit, but but yeah, just some cool stuff. Official Knicks program, uh, hot, hundred hottest. This came in in plastic. I've already found a few of those in the in the locker where they have the cards on the side. I think Score did did a lot of that. Okay, so now you guys can see there's some interesting stuff at the bottom. So you know, whatever this is, I mean they've. It was obviously in an area, it might have been some heat or something. I'm not going to pull that off. Got Cal Ripken something or other here. It looks like a, well, one of those books. But the rubber bands have basically melted into whatever's there with them. Let's see here. Got some of the Starline, Chris Sabo, Glenn Davis, various things here. Uh, see, All Star, the. Uh, the big all stars. I mean, these were cool cards. The problem is they're just hard to keep in good shape because they're so big they get bent up. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, this looks like it was probably from a box or something. Cut cut off of a box, but just kind of a box thing from the 1979 Kellogg's. Probably in the back of the cereal box or something like that. Let's see what these are. Some 87 top stickers. A rubber band around them. Let's go ahead and take that off. So, yeah. So it looks like it has some, some stickers. So, which goes in hand in hand with the albums we found earlier. Here you want tops, uh, Coca Cola. We got some Sport Flick stuff. And yeah, see, this is yeah, see the damage on that. But let's see if we can just. None of the rubber bands are sticking. There we go. So, we've got uh, that one there. I'm not sure exactly what that is. I'll look that up later. But you know, based on the shape, it's probably not gonna be worth a whole lot. Some more of these. You got some look like stadium cards of some sort. Bip Roberts postcard. 
Gerald Clark and Benito Santiago smoke is probably some stadium giveaway but unfortunately you know when you do find um, collections sometimes you find it where this wasn't taken care of and you know it's it's a shame you know sometimes you find something good and then unfortunately it's just not not well taken care of that's just the way it goes when you're buying collections um, you should also factor in the price when you're buying them too just to make sure that you're covering yourself um, found a couple of these sets already these um these Bohemian Earth bread sets. There is a um, like Tony Gwynn in there. These are pretty beat up. Marvell Wynn. His son played in MLS soccer. It was I believe the number one MLS soccer pick a while back. He just retired I think a couple of years ago. Marvell Wynn Jr. Um, so we got Swell. Just, just again oddball stuff. Nothing nothing crazy, but just interesting things. Here's all the. Win a trip to the uh, World Series cards. You know, you get the runs. These, these I don't think were scratch off. Maybe the other ones were scratch off. But, uh, Farina. So, let's see what this is. This looks interesting here. Let's see what these are down here. So, here's, here's something interesting. So, 1982. 1982 Chicago Cubs. It looks like a, a red lobster. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, my. Yep, there you go. So I, just, I just thought about that for a second. Oh, yeah. And there it is. So the 82 red lobster set with the Ryan Sandberg. So you got to remember his rookie card was 83. So when you find, and unfortunately, um, it's not in bad shape, but it's got a little ding. So it'd probably be a 6 or a 7 right here. But, uh, wow, kind of cool. Yeah, see, again, that's why I like going through stuff like this because... Um, that you get to find, you know, things like this. So this is the 82 Red Lobster set. And there's the Sandberg. Um, and actually it's not in bad shape. So, pretty cool. So, you know, stuff like that is, is what you're looking for. So, alright, let's see what this is. Because this is the thing I actually was grabbing for first before I saw that. Which is these Twins cards. Not sure what year. See here's Bob Allison, Boswell. So, I mean, it looks like it's '60s or '70s. Dean Chance, Jimmy Hall, Lemon, Billy Martin, young-looking Billy Martin there. So, to look these up, Gene Mock. Um, assuming there's a Killer Brew or something in here somewhere, maybe. Well, so it just looks like another one of these kind of sets that will probably stadium giveaway or something of that nature. So there's a couple things. The Red Lobster thing was really cool. And let's see here. Get some old um, old Kellogg's um, Kellogg's cars that came in the cereal box. You could also send away for them too, uh, I believe. There's a Thurman Munson. It's always good, not sure. I actually came across a really nice set of these, um, or I say a collection of these a couple years back. It was everything from 72 to 82, and they were complete. And the person that put them in sleeves, it's so a 78. So they were sharp, they weren't, you know, because a lot of times with these, what happens is you'll get you'll get this bend here. Um, but since these were in sleeves, they were all straight, they were all perfect. I, I graded a few, actually got some tens. Um, from some of the earlier 70s stuff. Um, but yeah, it was, it was kind of a cool collection. So, all right. True Value, Bill Madlock. So yeah, I mean, nothing crazy on this stuff. But this looks like kind of a, an oddball. This looks like, what is this here? You got the uh, Perina Chow. You got the True Value, Cal Ripken. Uh, looks like maybe 86, maybe. Uh, Barry Bonds, these are the collected books. Uh, Captain Crunch, you know, Phil Garner, All Star. So, let's see. Yeah, I've seen these before. So, we got some more stickers. This is the, uh, this is the Kmart stuff. Again, rubber band. Uh, yeah, these are in pretty bad shape. I mean, you can, I mean, the Kmart things, they came in the little packages of, of, of whatnot, of um, 
the little boxes so it's easy to find them in good shape i've come across a few of these before on football and baseball but um it's kind of like one of those sets a lot of times in the in the 80s this is 74 so in the 70s and 80s you get like you know these these sets like this sometimes you find them in the jc penny or sears catalogs kind of a, a starter collector set they would always have stuff like that so here's the famous feeds i'm pretty sure this is 72 so these actually might be um authentic ones but kind of cool the difference i'll pull these aside so like i said i mean there's there's a bunch of stuff in here not, not nothing crazy but then you you come across the, a few things you got the ryan sandberg the red lobster you get the famous feats and then the um the minnesota twin stuff so and the rest of the stuff you can kind of piece out and looks like it has a list there some more box cards from the boxes so looks like some uh more rubber bands hey um you've got the um the hostess right i think it's hostess rick langford larry durker some more fa famous first here 75 79 but again you see i mean this is you know when they throw them in a box like this maybe this is what you kind of get unfortunately and oh what is this Atlanta braves helmet of some sort parents you know there you go this package is intentionally difficult to open because this item is intended as a collectible. Not that it's, you know, potentially a choking hazard, but because it's a collectible. But anyway. So and then we got uh, the Woolworths. Yeah, the Woolworths sets. Um, any of you guys around there that remember Woolworths? Or Woolworth, I should say. Um, I remember going there and getting cards. They actually had closeouts, so like, it was kind of... I remember going to a Woolworth and I want to say it's probably, you know, 86, 87, 85, somewhere around, but they had, for whatever reason, on some closeouts, they had like 1983 Tops packs, things like this. Now these came out of, I remember these, these came out of Post Cereals and they had all the different teams. I remember clicking those as a kid. So anyway, so there's pretty much it for this one. You got some more Kellogg's, Eddie Murray, is that 78? Let's see, this is uh Now this is the 83 one so but uh yeah so something different something interesting something unusual so anyway i'm gonna do a few more videos uh this one a little longer than i wanted to but it's kind of an interesting box to go through and uh, like i said this has been overwhelming with the amount of stuff that um i pull out of those units and i'm just slowly going through it now and just you know like i said i went to the unit the other day and was like okay i'm just going to take some of the stuff here in the front and this is part of what I what I took, and it's kind of interesting to see what's in there. So, again, you know, another interesting box of just oddball stuff. But we found a couple of little goodies in there, especially the Ryan Sandberg. Uh, these here, I'm not sure what year these are, but um, looks like kind of some World Series type uh, commemorative cards. Probably came out of something. I mean, based on the cuts here, it's probably 70s. But um, who knows? I have to look into those. So just oddball stuff. So anyway, again, thanks for watching our videos. If you uh, if you like the video, hit like. Uh, if you like what we do, hit subscribe. Uh, looking for more videos. We're going to be coming up with just a ton of content video wise um, as we go through this stuff and 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 go through it. So anyway, um, comment below if you have any comments. And again, as always, you know, have a great day. Do what you love to do and. Uh, and keep breaking pack and follow your passions. Have a great day. Bye.